Federal confusion. Border agents thought they just uncovered a major counterfeiting ring, but it turned out to be something far more innocent. It tops our news at 6 tonight. Alert customs agents at Metro Airport sees millions of dollars in counterfeit bills being brought into the country. And boy, it sure must have looked suspicious, but those bills were a very different kind of currency, along with what looked like fake American dollars. There were lots of these reproductions of Vietnamese money. And the couple caught with the cash were not charged with any crime. Guy Gordon joins us now with more on this case of cultural confusion. Guy? Yeah, you guys, I think if we tried to come across the border with that kind of counterfeit cash, we'd be here at federal court facing serious charges, but not in this case. The Vietnamese couple, as you say, was released because upon further investigation, they determined that they weren't going to spend the bogus bucks. They were going to burn them. The Vietnamese couple was clearing customs when an agent asked them how much cash they were bringing in. They had difficulty answering, so agents inspected their bags finding 93 bundles of bogus Benjamins and 32 bundles of phony Vietnamese currency, 4.6 million in all. Uh, they, they told us that the money was being imported for burial rituals, uh, which are customary to certain Asian cultures. That's right, it was going to become a burnt offering. It's called hell money, a Buddhist tradition of burning ceremonial cash to ensure the departed has a solid financial future in the afterlife. Big denominations of funny money are not unusual. I've been here for two years and I've seen uh, at least uh, half a dozen uh, seizures, nowhere uh, on that scale, but uh, at least a half a dozen times where we've seen counterfeit currency um, being imported for the sole intention of uh, being used in burials. The Secret Service says the quality of paper was poor. The $100 bills even had some Vietnamese script on them, unlikely to fool an alert cashier. The couple's story checked out, and after surrendering the counterfeit cash, continued to their loved one's funeral. Now, Customs and Border Patrol want to make it clear here. They want the public to know that this is still a very serious business, uh, that you can't bring in or import counterfeit currency. And if you do, there can be serious consequences consequences that can cost you a bundle of the real stuff. We're live from the federal courthouse. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Devin, back to you. Fascinating, Guy. So are there instances in which this is acceptable to bring in money like this that it doesn't get confiscated? Yeah, they call this Jot's paper, and most of it doesn't look anything like the real thing, Devin, and that's the key thing. It shouldn't even be the same size. It should be like Monopoly money. In fact, ah. we found out that they could have bought the Jot's paper here. We found you could have gotten uh, $10,000 worth for 20 bucks. Jot's paper. It's a new one on me. All right, guy, thanks.